What's up, my beautiful, lovely, powerful creators? Let's go with that. That's a good, that's a good one. Beautiful, lovely, powerful creators. How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. I have another video for you. I know, so soon. But I'm inspired, so let's get it. So you want to know how to finally manifest your SP or how to get your SP back. Well, I'm going to tell you. Are you ready for this? It's very, it's very straightforward. I'm really excited about this video. I think it's a very important topic and I think that a lot of people want to hear it. A lot of people are confused about it. A lot of people have received misinformation and disinformation about this topic. Misinformation is getting misleading information, but disinformation is getting deliberate misinformation. Somebody is making up something and telling you this to kind of keep you in the dark. And I feel like with this topic, it can be very, it can be complicated easily by people who are trying to take advantage of vulnerable people. So I want to keep this as straightforward and simple as possible. So first I want to address your self-concept and do you need to work on your self-concept to manifest? Absolutely not. You're manifesting constantly. Everything that is in your life right now is a manifestation of your thoughts. It's a manifestation of who you think that you are. So you don't need self-concept to manifest. But that being said, if you have a good self-concept, you are going to manifest good into your life. If you believe that you are strong, you are powerful, you are the creator, then you are going to manifest those types of things into your life. You are going to manifest all of the things that you want quickly, quickly, keyword, into your life. It is all about who you believe you are. People only reflect back to you who you believe you are. So however you walk around seeing yourself, people have no choice but to reflect that person back at you. So everyone is you pushed out and thought transmission is basically saying that like whatever you believe about yourself, people have no choice but to reflect that back at you. That's the part of it being your reality and everyone that is in your reality responds to how you see the world and how you see yourself. So if you walk around thinking that, you know, you're unconfident, you don't have any friends, it's hard for you to ma make friends and it's nobody loves you, nobody cares about you. People have no choice but to reflect those I thought that ideal back at you and they will have no choice but to show up in your reality and make you feel that way that you think you are. It is everyone's job and, and everyone as you pushed out to just show you who you are. This is not a technique, but you can use it as a technique just by simply hacking that concept and changing your thoughts. Who are you? Who do you want to be? Who, however you want someone to see you is how you need to think about yourself first and then they have no choice but to reflect it back to you. If you are saying that you're never loved by anyone, then your specific person, I'm sorry, they're never going to love you because you're never loved by anyone. So how could they? How could they show love to you? But if you sit there and change your mind and say, I am loved, I am loved by everyone. Everyone loves me. I'm everyone's favorite. I am SP's favorite person. They're going to literally get a ping, a ping, like a, like thought transmission, like a radio broadcasting tower. Oh my God. I love her. Oh my God. I love him. It's instant. That's the thing. That's the cool. That is the dope thing about it is it is an instant thing. Just as soon as you jump into a different reality, as soon as you change your thoughts and believe that you're in this reality now where you are loved they have people have no choice but to show you that love everyone as you pushed out is the way the world works it is how we are all connected in consciousness because we all of the people on earth are all connected in one consciousness okay we are all one consciousness we are one part of one higher self of our higher self if you've ever sat there and thought that you wanted someone to say a specific thing 
and then they end up saying it and you're, oh my God, you just read my mind. Or say you're thinking about somebody a lot and maybe I, I should reach out to them. I haven't talked to this person in a while. And then they text you first. Oh, what? I was just thinking about you. How weird. No, it's not weird. <laughs> it's thought transmission. And thought transmission is part of your God state. So be in your God state and keep your thoughts where you want them to be, where you, however you want your thoughts to be reflected, however you want to see your world out there. Keep your thoughts aligned with that ideal reality that you want to be in at all times. As much as you possibly can. As soon as you catch yourself falling out of that, pull yourself back in and force yourself to be back in that state again. It's not about how long we hold it and maintain it, because I know it's hard, but whenever we return to a state that we don't want to be in anymore, it's that repetition of coming back that makes you learn how to be, how, how to reside there all the time. Repetition is a learning tool. How did you learn your ABCs? How you learned your ABCs is how you're going to learn any other new reality that you want to be. It's how you're going to learn any other new thought concept that you want to have. Repetition. I'll tell you a little story with everyone as you pushed out. So I was seeing somebody and every time they were giving me attention, they were showering me with affection, telling me good things, uh, just talking in general, like anytime things were feeling good. I was feeling good about myself. And then every time it was the opposite, like I wasn't really getting much, um, I felt like they were distant, I was feeling bad about myself. And I was having that thought, what is it? There, there has to be something, you know, like in my past that has made me think this way, that, that has made me so reliant on another human being to where my mood is dependent my self-concept is dependent on whether or not they're giving me attention or not. And then all of a sudden one day it just clicked. It was like an epiphany screaming in my face that was telling me, wait a second. It's actually the opposite. When I'm feeling good and confident about myself, they're showing me that, that back with affection, attention. Whenever I start to feel badly about myself, from any other outside circumstances, not even involving them or just maybe my own mental, just kind of struggling. Whenever I started feeling bad about myself, they reciprocated that. So it wasn't actually them making me feel that way. It was me telling them how to treat me. That is everyone as you pushed out. When you hold someone to the standard of they can dictate your feelings, they can, they can control your emotions, you are putting them on a pedestal. You are putting them higher than yourself. You are looking up at them and saying, tell me, how do I feel today? We're not doing that anymore. Take them off. How are you going to let someone be above you in your own reality? In your own consciousness? How are you going to let someone else be above you? How are you going to let someone else be above you in your own house, in your own kingdom? Like I said in a, a past video, this is your world. We're all just living in it. You were the only one on that pedestal. If you have to draw a picture of kicking them off the pedestal and climbing on that yourself, do it. <laughs> not, not to be like in a conceited way, but you are looking down on everyone. You are controlling everyone. These are all your little minions. <laughs> I know that's a weird way to say it, but if you have someone above you, you are manifesting from desperation and you can't get anything from desperation because that is lack. You can't get anything by begging and pleading with the universe to, to give you things. You can't get anything by putting the power of you obtaining something in the hands of another. You will never get anything that way. Take control. Don't you realize that you are God? Be God. It is all within you. It is all within. <laughs> It is not out there. There's nothing out there. It is all within you. Pull, pull it out of you and, and see it in your world reflected. Stop giving your power away. Stop giving your power away to an outside force. Stop giving your power away to another person. 
to another human being, realize who you are. Choose. Who do you want to be? If you need to sit down and write out who you want to be, do it. I've done it. Be specific. Seriously, actually do that. Go sit down and write out who you want to be in every aspect of your life. What you want to look like, what you want to feel like, who you want surrounding you, how you want to make money. Like literally every aspect of your life, write down how you want it to be. Write down every single detail. Define who it is that you want to be and then become that person that you want to be. Walk around, read that list every single day, and then walk around this life thinking that you are that person that has all of those things that you've you've written down. Don't think about it as, these are my list of wants, and now I've got to go get all of my wants. No, write down who you want to be, and then walk around in this world, realizing and deciding that that is the person that you are, and then all of the little wants that come along with it are going to come. You don't have to settle for anything. Be the man or woman that has it all. Don't just focus on getting your specific person. Focus on having everything that you want. And your specific person is part of that equation. Why not become the version of you that has everything? Become the woman who has it all. Become the man who has it all. Walk around saying, I am the person who has it all. Isn't that better than just getting one specific person to like trip up all over you? (laughs) Because when you see yourself as the person who has everything, then you can have any person you want. You can have your specific person. Just embody the new you in the new reality where you have everything you want. This is a journey of self. This is a journey of you. This is your journey. Love is just an added bonus in your journey. But you are entitled to having everything you want. And you are entitled to having all-consuming, everlasting, perfect love. You are a being made of unconditional love. Realize that. And your specific person, hell, your friends, your family, everyone has no choice but to reflect back the unconditional love that you see in yourself. You don't have to heal yourself. You don't have to work on yourself. You don't have to do any of that to get someone back. But I believe that that is the easiest way you can get it and keep it and be happy with it. Because we don't, let's get real, we're not going to want to manifest someone back and then have them show up as the same shitty person that ruined it the first time, that made us separate the first time, turn me into the person that made me ruin something. Turn me into the person that had anxiety, that was unhappy, that was reliant on how they made me feel all the time. We don't need to live in that. We don't want that. Nobody wants that. Keep focusing on who you want to be. Remember who you are. Affirm to remember who you are. Script to remember who you are. Visualize to remember who you are. Do anything. It doesn't matter. It's not the technique that you do that has to be perfect. It's not the technique that is manifesting. It is you that is manifesting. These are all just tools that we use. But it all comes down to how do these tools make you feel? Stop thinking, well, I've done everything right, but it's not here. Did you? Did you do everything right? Did you do everything right to create the shitty circumstances that you have now? Did you script to be unhappy? Did you script to lose this person? Did you script to be lonely? No, you thought you were, so now you are. Stop focusing on the perfect technique and focus on who you want to be. Focus on the you that has your desire already. It's where you let your mind dwell. So stop dwelling in things that you don't want. And imagine that you already have everything that you do want. Everything that you do want. Imagine being that new you that is limitless, unstoppable, 
they have the perfect job, they have the perfect life, they have the perfect home, they have the perfect car, they have the perfect friends, they have the perfect family, they have the perfect partner. <laughs> if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below, send me an email, message me on Instagram, whatever. And, and after you've done all this and your person comes crawling back to you, definitely send me a comment, an email or, an, or a DM. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, get the word out so that more people can see this message. And I will see you guys in a future video. Okay, bye.